Board Week! It's your boy Obama here. Before we get into this video, I want to address a comment which I got a while ago regarding my Obi-Wan picture. I think I was told to take it down by some Christian person because they thought it was a picture of Jesus. I don't want people to think that I'm being disrespectful or anything. I'm gonna take him down, so. See you later, Obi-Wan. You will be missed. I don't really want to mess around with religion or anything because I know people can get pretty fizzed about that, but. Now I need a new picture for this wall. <laughs> We're getting off topic. It's fingerboard week, baby. In my time of not being able to snowboard, skateboard, or surf, at some points I really freaking want to surf. The other day I watched a bunch of surfing videos and I was like, bro, I really wish I could surf right now. So I'm sure you know what we're doing today by the title of this video. Even though I can't surf on a surfboard, maybe I'll still be able to surf on a finger surfboard. <laughs> so that's what we're doing today. I feel like I've been saying this in a bunch of my videos, but this one has been requested a lot. If everybody had a nose. People want to see a finger surfboard. I don't know how it's gonna work, although I did see a video. The most viewed video when you search finger surfing is this one made by Last Paradise Films. They actually made a real sick video. pretty good but I don't know where I'll be able to find like a river wave so before we think of how we actually make it work we gotta actually make the finger surfboards and I'm gonna try and make them like a real surfboard if you don't know how a real surfboards made foam wrapped in fiberglass I want to make three different boards I want to make a short board a long board and a fish and luckily for me I still have so much foam left from previous projects. There's this really good website called Blending Curves, which I use for all of my actual surfboards I've made, and I'm gonna use those shapes to make these finger surfboards. I have the shape printed out now. I have the foam. Boy, you best know it's about to go down. Shortboard, the rail's gonna be a lot sharper. They're turning out pretty good. I got a bag of leftover fiberglass for making a real surfboard and I'm gonna use that fiberglass to wrap these in. And this is what that fiberglass looks like. Fiberglass cloth. We're pretty much making actual surfboards, but mini.
down here. Now we gotta wait till tomorrow for them to dry. But while we're waiting for them to dry, I'm gonna make the fins. To make the fins, I'm gonna take three wooden veneers and I'm gonna clamp them together and that should pretty much be good enough for fins. The fins are dry. Now I'm just gonna trim the fins out and give it a final sand, and the board will pretty much be done. I just need to paint it. thing to do is try these out so we're gonna go we go down to the beach we're gonna go test them out all right we gotta beach day no oh, it's crazy it's crazy going for a surf yeah this summer starting it's gonna be my first time surfing mm. since I did my ACL so Don't want to be caught slipping out there. You're a surf photographer, aren't you? Yeah, I am. It's a bit cold today, is it? Oh, yes, it is. Yeah, summer. We've got about three hours. What's the swell looking like today? Swell has got the perfect uh, sets coming in and 15 centimeters, yeah.
I couldn't put any pressure on my fingers. I'm honestly not expecting a whole lot different with this one. <laughs> Just got home from trying to finger surf. And let me tell you, it was freaking hard. I'm surprised it worked as good as it did. But yeah, we're back home now. And that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to come back tomorrow for the next video. And also go check out the merch. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. What's going on?